Hello, MTT609A. Welcome to my crib. Welcome to in production. You look solid, built well. I bet I can put a person on you, like a small person, like a child. What's that? You can hold me? I can sit on you? Sit on your top of you? You sure? There's only one way to find out. Doctor, my brain is falling out. Oh my god. Oh my god, nurse. What happened to the patient? Well, according to this, he tried to stand on a tripod. Did he success? No. Doctor, you gotta save my brain. Well, listen carefully. Do you have COVID-19? What? What's COVID? I have my medical card in my pocket. Take it. No, I mean the pandemic virus. Do you have the virus? Why would I have the virus? I'm a good citizen. Right now my brain needs to be quarantined. Come on. Oh well. I'm afraid I can put your brain back, sir. You need to have the virus to be treated. Alright. Nurse, send him back. Who has the COVID-19? I can treat you here. Hello everyone, this is Yun. Welcome to Yun Production. So today I'm reviewing my new tripod called MTT609A from a company called Malibu. It's a medium sized video tripod with aluminum construction has max load of 15 kilograms. So you can put a big ass camera on top of it. Fold the length of 85 centimeters and max height of 170 centimeters. And 75 millimeter ball fluid head is included and the whole thing weighs 5 kilograms. I bought this tripod for 377 Canadian dollars that's including delivery and import fee. So I think this is most affordable video tripod you should buy. Because for example, Manfrotto 502 will cost you $250 just for the head. And for 609, it has a better one and bigger one. But the insane bell doesn't stop there. They give you free padded bags, maintenance tools, and this awesome cap. Let's go to the details, shall we? Included leg spreader is made of good quality plastic, so it's not gonna break on you. And also has a rubber fit that stops you from scratching the floor. Here is how you attach and detach the spreader. The leg itself has two spike positions for soft ground. There's our first latch, colored in semi-transparent dark red. Honestly, I think it's a very hideous color. It looks cheap, but it is cheap, so I can't really complain about it. Let's hear the click. The leg is made with 16 and 22 millimeter aluminum tube. Second latch, same thing, ugly color, but this time it has much more satisfying click. Behind it, there's a screw that lets you adjust the clickness of it and hinge looks solid there, no extra movement. Screw holes are plugged out with the rubber caps. At the center, we have 75mm ball. First things, it has a very nice triangular handle so that you can grab on it and tighten it as much as possible. The ball itself has exceptional finishes, but the ball itself is not so much. I prefer not to have a painted ball because sometimes the ball head actually slide because of the paint even though if I tie it really tight with the screw. On the head we had a pen lock. By the way all the screw handles are readjustable on this tripod. Then we have fish fart. If you tilt the head all the way down there's a pen friction knob even though the sticker says it's tilt. On the right we have a rubber grip handle on the rosette, tilt friction knob plate lock bolt. On the left, we have another rosette, tilt lock, and 3A screw hole, and plate release button. And if you don't know where to put away the 3A screw, you can put it right here. Here is the Manfrotto plate. It includes both quarter and 3A screw. Finish is not very nice. It has a lot of burrs on it. And here is how you remove the screws. 
it has the safe catch so the camera won't randomly slide out. This is how you remove the plate. Here is how you put it back. You can also put it back this way. Now here is the tripod in action. So this is Yun and I'm outside so um, I'm outside because I wanted to try how stable my uh, new video tripod is and how smooth the footage is, is, is gonna look like. So right now I put a CPL uh, filter on top of the lens so that I can get a nice blue sky. Today is very, very clear and very warm. It's over 20 degrees Celsius. I, I can finally wear a t-shirt. <laughs> So to prove how smooth this tripod has are, so I have uh, my cousin behind the camera, she's 11 years old. So she's gonna do pan and tilt uh, as I go from that point, run from that point to that point. So if she can do it, everyone can do it. There you go, finally spring is here. So here's my experience with it. It's really great. I was worried about the weight first of all, uh, but it's not a problem at all. Five kilogram is actually pretty light. Uh, they do have a carbon fiber option, but since I'm using this as a uh, stu studio tripod and it has to be stable, more weight equals more stability. So I didn't bother to order it or even think about it or consider it because like you have to pay extra $200 just to get the carbon fiber when it's really not necessary for this type of tripod. But keep in mind, this is not a travel tripod, it's a studio tripod. So you're not gonna get any lighter than I'll say three kilograms at this size. Now there are some finishes that can be improved like color for the latch system. I think it's just hideous. Uh, they can just simply change to solid red color instead of like semi-transparent color and the paint finishes can be really improved because like they literally spray paint on top of it instead of anodizing aluminum. I don't expect it to be like anodized aluminum at this price range but at least um, the inconsistency of the paint spray painted part is kind of ticks me off. Also, those friction knobs that I show you for tilt and uh, pan, they don't really give you a ton of vari variation. Uh, it's either very strong or regular friction uh, resistance, so don't expect too much about that. Lastly, when you first buy this product, the head is not level, it's actually slightly tilt downwards. But after a couple uses, it actually recovers back to the center, it doesn't bothers me at all but I just wanted to mention it. Another thing I wanted to mention it is that this tripod can tilt uh, up and down uh, both way 180 degrees. Apparently not many tripod company actually let allow you to do it because of the how it how they are constructed but yes this camera can do 180 tilt up and down. Overall, I think the fluid head works really, really smoothly and I didn't feel any jerk motion in both pan and tilt. Uh, if it shows on the video, that's because my lack of skills of using this tripod because I haven't used it more than a week. Um, so Malibu MTT609A, I think it's a serious video tripod at affordable price. Again, it's only 377 Canadian dollar in trans in United States, it's 270 US dollar, that's nothing. 
and I don't even know how they actually make money out of this tripod. I think they actually lose money. In, if you include the delivery fee, it's coming all the way from China. And I don't know. I just don't know. Anyways, that's been it. Hope to see you next one. Had an entertaining day. And see you later. Bye. The end.